guys welcome back to the channel well if you've been following this car I've been uploading a lot of videos lately you'll know that I just finished doing a fuel injection swap on this which is running pleasantly nice but of course when it comes to working on old cars there's always something always something that the car likes to tell you hey a little more attention <laughs> so let's take a look down here oh I noticed this the other day I had a nice old smelly garage and if we do a little further investigation right here the whole system has no leaks whatsoever but fuel sending unit locking ring seal which is the only part I didn't replace after I had taken this thing apart and put it back together a couple times this likes to leak uh, from time to time so what I got to do now is drop the tank. First, before I do that, I have to drain the air. You can see some of the gas that's eaten into the fat mat here. See how it's all, sorry, all liquidy. It's dripping from here down into here. It's caused some tarnish to happen. It's just a nasty, nasty, stinky problem. Not safe. So before I can drop the gas tank down, I got to drain the gas out of the tank. And part of this video is going to be about how you do it so let me show you what I do and what I use and uh, you guys can uh, be the judge on if you want to do it like that or not so let's show you all right so if you don't know already this is a fuel sending unit this is the feed line that goes out to the engine and it goes into a fuel filter a fuel pump electric fuel pump another post filter and then down and out to the engine so what you want to do is get you got to drain this tank down to the lowest level which is down here so the best way to do this is to disconnect this line from the filter and then get this onto a pump of some sort to pump it out so let me show you how i do it all right if you don't already have a torque lock style vice clamp i would highly suggest you add one into your arsenal these can get into a nice tight spot and create a nice clamp like you see here that I'm pointing at that'll cut the fuel supply off while you can do some work in, in here. So the last thing you want to do is just go at this willy-nilly and disconnect it and let it start draining all over the place. That's a fire hazard. It's not very organized. So let me show you a better way to do it. Clamp that off. I've made one of these little uh, gas pumps here out of a universal fuel pump. You can see here, well it's backwards. It's a universal fuel pump and this is the in feed and this is the out feed and all this essentially does is just pump from one side to the other. I have it going into a five gallon container. I actually happen to know that I only have about four and a half gallons of gas in this. Now what I've done is a couple of things here. I've attached it securely to the top with some dip zip ties so this can't flop around while I'm working around gas. I also have created a collar on the threaded area and I've also attached it here so this hose just can't pull out of the way when I'm working with it. That's pretty important. You're going to be dealing with 12 volts. You don't want any sparks to cause any issue. So what you're going to do is connect that feed that's clamped off to the uh, inlet side of this electric fuel pump and then you're going to have a good nice long set of leads. You're going to go ahead and then power this and what it's going to do is it's going to pump all the gas out of your tank safely without you having to get all nasty. So let me show you how it works. Right, so what I have here now is my simple system. It's disconnected from the fuel filter, which is in here. You see it there, disconnected. Now the line is uh, securely clamped to the inline pump that's gonna pump all the gas down out of this gas tank here. So now what I'm gonna do, now that this is on a, on a stable surface, it's not going anywhere, now all I have to concentrate on is powering the leads and it will pump the gas safely out of the car without having to fumble around under here and get all gross and nasty. So let's show you. Okay, I've got it powered. It's pumping. See it going into there. And this will go ahead and pump down the whole tank. Now you can make little leads or you can just hold them on there. Up to you. I don't have a lot of gas in here, so didn't need to go through the whole hassle. But that's how you do it safely, guys. Pump it all out in an electric pump. No BS. All right, there's the old sending unit out. I didn't film putting the sending unit in just because I wasn't in the mood. Here's the old sending unit seal. It was broken right in half. 
cracked everywhere. Can't really fuck it won't focus, but look at that, it's all cracked and screwed up. So now I'm using the lazy way to fill up the gas tank again. These old Mustangs got this, you know, vertical gas tank and the pour gas from a spout into here is just nasty and messy. So I figured while I had the the pump hooked up, I just dropped it into the fresh gas tank and a little vice grip action, letting it fill itself. It'll take a little while, but I'm not in a rush. I got some things to do. I'll let it pump it in there, but luckily no leakage. So I think we're gonna be good to go with the new, uh, new sending unit and lock ring. So yeah, guys, get yourself a little $10 universal fuel pump. You'll be glad you did. <laughs> this little dumb gauge on here too. So anyways guys, remember to subscribe, comment, and all that stuff, and I'll get you on the next video.